Hello everyone, in this video tutorial, we will see how we can measure accuracy in computer vision. So for example, I have trained the Yolo V7 model on GAN images dataset, but how can I evaluate my model? Means, how will I know how accurate my model is? Suppose we have designed a GAN detection model using Yolo V7. But how accurate my gun detection model is? To find out how accurate my gun detection model is, I will use mean average precision. Let's see what mean average precision is. So, mean average precision is a metric used to evaluate object detection models. Without this, how will you objectively know how well your model performs? But question is, how I can calculate the mean average precision? Let's go to the next part and see how we can calculate mean average precision. To calculate mean average precision value, we need to understand these four concepts. The first is confusion matrix. We need to know what is confusion matrix. The second thing we need to know is intersection over union or IOU. The third thing we must know is recall and the fourth thing we should know is precision value. So let's explore each of these four concepts one by one. So this is how our confusion matrix looks like. In the next slide, I will give you a detailed explanation about confusion matrix with an example as well. So let's move towards the next slide. So let me explain you what is true positive, what is false positive, what is false negative, and what is true negative. So let's start with what is false positive. So we have trained the Yolo V7 model on gun images dataset. But if my model predicts banana as a gun, like you can see in this figure over here, so, mod so my model is predicting banana as a gun. But actually, it is a banana, it is not a gun. So this is a false positive. So if we predict a gun, when there is actually a gun, that is true positive. So now let's see what is false negative. So false negative is when the model predicts that there is no gun, but in actual, there is a gun. So this is false negative. The last one is true negative. When the model predicts that there is no gun and actually there is no gun, so this is true negative. So this put things into perspective. But how does the confusion matrix help us to calculate the mean average precision? We will see this in the next slides. We are doing image classification, then it would be simple to determine that whether the entire image contains a deer or not. But now as we are dealing with object detection in which we need to do the object localization as well, which means where we have the object in the image. So in object localization, we need to figure out where is the deer in the image. Okay. So that's where the intersection over union IOU comes into play. The ideal detection model prediction will fit the deer perfectly to the actual object. But as we know that AI prediction are not perfect and hence we need to define how close the predicted box is to the ground truth and how we can see that the predicted how can we see that the prediction overlaps with the actual box object boundaries. For this, we use intersection over union or IOU. So we can define the intersection over union as area of overlap divided by the combined area or area of union. So when we train the Yolo V7 model on any data set, our goal is that our prediction should be as close to the ground truth bounding box. So our goal is that a predicted bounding box should be as close to the ground truth bounding box. 
So when we train the Yolo V7 model on any custom data set, our aim is that this predicted bonding, predicted bonding box should be as close to this ground truth bonding box. And when the predicted bonding box completely overlaps the ground truth bonding box, in that case, the IOU is equal to 1. A perfect overlap gives an IOU of 100% which is 1, whereas a prediction that does not overlap with the ground truth gives an IOU of 0% which is 0. Now we can decide that decide that what percentage of overlap is acceptable as a true positive. Some people use an IOU threshold of 50%, but it all depends on how important the location of object is to you. But please remember that we will have different results for different IOU. For this application, let's assume an IOU threshold of 50% we say that the IOU threshold of 50% is adequate for our application. So now here we have set the IO2 threshold 50% which is 0.5. So now you can see that for this prediction over here, for this prediction, we have uh, for this uh, example or for this project, we have set the IOU threshold of 0.5 and for this prediction, we are getting an IOU of 0.3. So as we have set the IOU threshold of 0.5, so and we are getting an IOU of 0.3 for this prediction. So this is a false positive. And for this prediction, we are getting an intersection of our union is equal to 0.7. And as we have set the IOU threshold is equal to 0.5, and we are getting an IOU of 0.7. So this is a true positive. But please remember that we will have different results for different IOU. And for this application, we are considering an IOU threshold of 0.5 or 50%. Now we will discuss the precision and recall, which are two commonly used metrics to judge the performance of a given MAT model. Precision measures how accurate are your predictions, for example, the percentage of predictions which are correct, while recall measures how good we find all the positives. So precision stands for true positives divided by true positives plus false positive and recall is equal to true positive over combination of false negative and true positive. So this is recall. So now we just need to repeat this precision recall calculation for various thresholds IOU and plot a graph to give a precision recall curve. Now we can compare the trade-off between having a high precision and high, having a high recall. So you can see over here, the lower the threshold, you can see over here, the lower the threshold, the lower the pre uh, precision but high recall. And we can also see that when we have very high threshold, we have very high precision, but we have very low recall. So there is a trade-off between having a high precision and a high recall. The lower the threshold, the higher the recall, but lower the precision value. And having high threshold, we have very high precision, but very low recall. So guys, we calculate the average precision to summarize the precision recall curve into a single value representing the average of all precisions. So the question might comes in your mind, what is the difference between average precision and mean average precision? So average precision and mean average precision is the same thing in case we have one glass like we are only detecting the gun. But if we have multiple classes, like we are detecting jackets, gloves, boots, so they are multiple classes, then it is the mean of average precision of all those classes. Thank you for watching this video tutorial. See you all in the next video tutorial. Till then, bye bye.